Hi everyone, my name is Edie Ann. Uh, welcome to the BNS channel. I'm a uh, superstar director with Sensi, and I wanted to show you how to create your own bingo cards for your bingo themed Sensi parties. Um, this is something that's been kind of a, a rage lately. Uh, we've been doing bingo parties as part of our online ability to offer Facebook parties. So it's been pretty fun and I wanted to show you how to generate the cards. So basically this is something that I use. You don't have to use the same one. If you have another one, that's totally fine. But this is how to use myfreebingocards.com. So if you go to myfreebingocards.com, you'll come to this page and then you're going to scroll down a little bit and free custom printable bingo card generator. That's what you want. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. What happens is it'll bring up your card that you're going to be creating. Now, typically a bingo card is five by five cells. Okay, there's five by five squares. So I'm gonna go down where it says grid size and I'm automatic, I'm not automatically, I'm gonna select five by five. So it puts that many squares um, so that I can fill them with my words. I'm just gonna name it bingo like any other card. And as I put the information in, it will auto populate on the right hand side so that you can see what it looks like. And then I'm going to go ahead and add my words that I want to use as part of my game. Now I use words because I like to talk about each word when it's called out. I'll use one fact about each word as I call it out. And um, that's the bingo party, right? That's how they're going to learn about Sensi while you're playing bingo. All right, so now I want to um, go ahead and generate this, but I don't like this theme, so I'm going to click on theme, and I'm going to choose something different. You can choose whatever you want. Um, it's totally your own preference. All right, then I'm going to go ahead and click on next step, and at this point, what's going to happen is I have two choices. I can print them out, or I can play online with um, a mo mobile or computer. When you click on play online, it's only going to generate one card at a time, um, which is okay, but this part is the time consuming part as far as I'm concerned because it's a matter of saving these cards to your desktop or your mobile device so that you can hand them out to your customers as they RSVP your party. I use the tool snipping tool. It's a free tool that you can get with Windows. I think Max have something very similar to that, um, but it is called Snipping Tool and it looks like that, okay? And so basically it allows you to trace or select a section and create it as its own picture and then you can save it. This is, like I said, this is the hard, this is not hard, but it's time consuming. So I'm gonna go ahead and click 30 bingo cards free, okay? And so what that's gonna do is it's going to generate 30 bingo cards that I could print out but in my case, I'm going to end up saving each of them individually. So it's generating them now and we'll bring up my print screen. Okay. All right. So here's some instructions on how, um, how it's going to look. They give you a bingo card collar card. So what I did is I took this and I actually cut out each square and put them in a little bowl so that I can pick them out randomly and have them uh, and call them out that way. Okay. So here are your cards. I'm going to make my screen just a little bit smaller so that I have the ability to see them better on my screen. Okay. So this is where my cutting tool comes in. I take out my snipping tool. I click on new. It highlights where I can select and then I just highlight the um, area. Then I hit save and I create a folder that's called bingo and I save each bingo card. I number them one through 30 so that I can keep track of which cards I hand out to each guest or, or customer. Um, and then that way it's easier for me to keep track. So that's all I do guys is I will go through and I will snip each picture. Um, I don't believe, yeah, you can't unfortunately save it as a picture. It saves it as a PDF. And so what happens is it's all, they're all going to be together 
and it's not going to be easy for you to hand them out individually. So that's how I do it is I just use my snipping tool. I go in and I highlight it. I hit save and then I save it as number one, number two, number three, number four, right through 30. And I do that for each card. Okay. So you'll see all 30 of them are here and they're all different, which is cool because it did all the random randomization for you. And, um, that's how you create your bingo cards. So if you are doing a home party, you could just print these out and cut them. That would be super easy. Um, that is it guys. So it's myfreebingocards.com is the name of the website. And that's where you can generate your bingo cards. I hope you found this helpful.